take two. Sal, take two. <laughs> okay, so I'm Anthony, and this is Katie. Pleasure, pleasure. <laughs> um, basically, we, want, we just want to ask you some questions. Yeah. On um, how you came to own Technicolor. Okay. Well, it started off exactly 20 years ago, or uh, yeah, about 20 years ago, this September, second week of September will mark our 20 year anniversary. So basically I was um, 16 years old and I got my first coaching position at Dallas School of Gymnastics just as a recreational coach. And um, you know, I loved it, fell in love with the kids, fell in love with the industry. Um, and I was there probably a good two years. And, uh, um, and then I met Tracy um, which, you know, 20 years later, is still my wife. And um, it was uh, probably a good six months when she started working there at the same facility, we decided that we needed to do this on our own. So we didn't have the capital to do it. And so what we did is we came up with a really cool concept, which was uh, called um, Texas Tumblers Gymnastics In-Service Program. So, uh, like I said, we didn't have the money to, to you know, get a building going, so we started this in-service program, which is ne was never done before. We basically came up with it, and um, we made our own gymnastics equipment. I remember when I was 19 years old, I was in the backyard, and my mom's like, what are you doing? What are you, what, what are you doing? They thought I was going to college. And... Um, I wasn't going to college. I quit school and basically I started uh, teaching gymnastics inside private daycares, schools and public schools um, and afternoon uh, you know, programs for public schools. And so basically um, we needed uh, gymnastics equipment to do it, right? So I built my own gymnastics equipment. I basically took wood from my father-in-law's barn and I was able to produce balance beams out of wood, out of um, old old wood that was in the barn, basically. You know, my, my in-law asked me, she, he said, you know, Sal, I will, I will pay, I will give you the money, buy yourself the equipment. And we refused to take a loan out, so we basically built it. Wow. So here we go, we started off with balance beams, and I'll never forget, I was... Um, driving on 35 one afternoon and with my little pickup truck and I saw a little sign, the construction sign, those little rectangle ones with the little light flickering deal on there. And I basically, you know, that's the first thing I've ever taken that wasn't mine, but I, I had to, you know, I had to have this little piece of wood. So I took it and I made a vault out of it, a gymnastics vault. So I, I designed it and I padded it. I went to Walmart, bought my own pad. I went to a fabric store and I bought my own fabric. I went to garage sales and I bought myself uh, probably a good half a dozen baby mattresses. And I wrapped them in all kinds of cool color vinyl, yellow, blue, red. And then Tracy was more of the administrative person. So she designed her brochure um, and this is before, basically before internet stuff, you know, we went door to door and uh, basically landed about 25 different accounts and off I went. I went and taught gymnastics in every school in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I probably wow. had about 80 different accounts um, by the end of the first year. Then we expanded to Houston and opened up a, a Houston division and uh, before you know it, we decided to open up our first facility in Cleburne, which is really far from here. And uh, and I remember we didn't have still we didn't have the funds to actually buy the building, so we rented uh, a, a metal barn basically in the middle of a pasture. And I remember our runway wasn't even long enough. We had to open up the bay door, and the kids had to run from the pasture, you know, with the cows wow. through in, into the tumbling session. So uh, after that, you know, experience, we were there for a couple of years, and um, we finally, I finally landed a really awesome deal on raw property right here in, in Fort Worth. Um, and so I purchased this property, and uh, I hired a contractor, and basically they built our gym, and 
you know, we got approved by the bank and we were all ecstatic about it. And uh, and here we go, 20 years later, here we are. Wow. Yeah, and now we currently employ, you know, um, a couple of dozen, um, you know, employees for the last, you know, 15 years or so. We've we've uh, grown the program and, and we have all-stars in competitive gymnastics and recreational gymnastics. So, um, basically that was it. My mom didn't like that I quit college. And the reason why they found out is because uh, I was in the backyard and I was sewing my mats, right? Mm -hmm. And my mom came over and she's like, what are you doing this for? And I remember, and I basically had to tell her, I was like, listen, I, I'm not going to college, it's not for me. And this is what I wanna do and I love kids. And I had to find a way to be a professional with working with kids. And that gymnastics was my my calling. Wow. Yeah. Um, so that's it. So I want to become um, a business owner eventually. Yeah. And I know that she wants to do sure. some type of business for him. So is there any advice that you would give us? You know, if I, that? yeah, if I had to do it all over again, um, one of the one of the things that I keep talking to my kids about is, you know, you everybody's got a talent in what they do, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you just have to figure that niche out and try to capitalize on it. If you can, do it yourself, great. If you have to work for somebody else first and get the experience and then do it on your own, that's kind of like my, what I've done in my whole life is, you know, I've always learned my trait before I went out and did it on my own, you know, so. But um, we also own a, a full-fledged construction company. It's called People's Choice. And basically we, we buy and fix uh, um, and flip homes. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so we do that by the day, and then we come. So basically, we flip homes by day, and we flip kids by night. <laughs> so <laughs> they call us the flipping contractors. <laughs> what was the hardest like part about starting? Well, the the hardest part, I, really and truly, it it was just a challenge overall, and it wasn't it was uh, it wasn't really hard. It was just. It was a determination that we both had as um, as entrepreneurs that we just there was no there was no other way but to succeed. It was just like we're gonna make it and we're gonna do it, and that's it. We never thought about failing, never crossed our mind, um, and it still doesn't cross our mind till this day. Uh, but uh, if I had to do it all over again, one of the things that I would do to to make myself a better business person is probably. I would probably um, take some a little bit more of the marketing, you know, the marketing strategies, um, advertisement. Um, I also would probably do a little bit of accounting on the business end of it. Um, Start out yeah, CPA. yeah, yeah. Really learn the hardcore of the accounting part of whatever that you do, whatever it is that you do, you know. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for letting us interview you. you. Yeah! It's over right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just ask me any questions uh, if there, anything ever comes about. All right, well, thank you. All right. Thank you. It's, a, it's a wrap. Thank you. It's nice a wrap. You. Who's going to push pause? I got it. All right. <laughs>